Hi guys and welcome so much to this video. We're already one week into January. I almost can't believe it. Um, incredible. It's moving fast and it will continue to move fast and it feels like it, we are in a period of a bit of an internal um, experience and work and then it will be intense as I've been talking about in the external um, and a bit of a disruptive kind of energy so I would expect um, very rapid sudden changes and shifts so we, we have to be you know to to stay present to stay in our heart do our practice and do come back to ourselves really trusting ourselves do this work um, so that we are ready and alert without being in the fight flight freeze response um, but not be sort of on autopilot in a program when we are suddenly asked to sh change and shift because then it will be a much smoother ride um, for us through the the coming weeks and months um it's been the last week and a half has been in my experience it's been pretty rough physically um there's a lot going on there's this ancestral healing there because there's so much energy coming in it's really hitting on whatever needs to be cleared in us whether those are um, thoughts thought patterns uh, emotions old wounds whether it's uh, in the physical body no matter what it is um, it will be sort of highlighted what is very easy to do in that situation is to go into some kind of a self-judgment oh i've already looked at this i've already cleared this here it's again oh now this is happening then what am i doing wrong because i'm creating my reality so that must mean that i have done something wrong or you know screwed up in some way i will say it's really really important because they're, they're saying radical self-responsibility is really important so both being aware and take responsibility of your reality of that you are actually creating your reality at the same time don't use that to judge yourself if you have an unpleasant experience because then you're actually using the old program on yourself to beat yourself up in order to try to improve or do better or change change or shift um, we can't apply the old energy on our shift now so reassessing the tools um, and ways we are working with ourselves so when these old things as for example self-judgment comes up when we are moving into more and more radical self-responsibility for the life we're creating um, we need to be aware of those patterns and to see when those are coming up um, i had this coming up for myself um, a little over a week ago and a beautiful friend in my own me in my life um, she said did you notice uh how much you're judging yourself in this situation that i was explaining about and i didn't and she <laughs> she said maybe take a um take a listen to the message you just sent because i've sent her a voice message she said listen to it because when you hear yourself you will really see it and and it taught me a lot um i could see like a whole different la layer and then what i've been shown after is that there are a lot of patterns that we have held and that we have cleared that is there's still sort of um like uh, crumbles in the in our system of it and so it will suddenly come up um to be really really weeded out with the root because 
these old ways of working with ourselves is not working anymore because it is anchored in the old energy in the, a lower frequency so even though we are asked to step into radical self-responsibility we are doing that with self-love we are not doing that out of judgment for ourselves or blaming others coming into the victim state we're doing it with self-love being responsible and doing the best we can with what we know with what we have our tools we can ask for guidance or for help when we need it and we come back to our hearts back to the breath and really calming the body because when we are going through rapid shifts and rapid changes it's very easy for the body i mean just when you hear the word change what is what's the first feeling so if i say that um there are rapid shifts coming relationships uh health job location the old don't apply all of this is like can be suddenly we can be experiencing shifts and changes how does it feel in your body how does your system respond because if we are going into the oh my goodness i have to prepare for this am i strong enough for this um going into the fight or flight and and that response it's not helping us it's not serving us because we have to work with the body because then it's the mind coming in and that's the control and that's one of the main things they have been saying um, as well now that they're letting go of control because we're so attached to what we have experienced as, as safe or familiar what feels safe isn't always necessarily safe it's just that it's familiar um, and all of these attachments will be challenged um, and if you feel that your system is going into oh my goodness can i handle this and going into a fear state challenge that thought be aware of what's happening so if i say that there can be sudden shifts in health maybe the health can shift to the better if there's um a sudden shift in location maybe you're actually being removed to a place which is a much better fit for you which has a much better energy for you where you will come in contact with people that resonates a lot with you so it's very easy and this is only a program this is only belief systems that many people hold around change and rapid shifts that it has to look very challenging and this is where it's so important to know and to be aware of what beliefs and what programs we have around these things because that's the self-responsibility right the radical responsibility of what we are creating and we are creating from the beliefs we're creating from the programs we hold from the energy we hold in our body and from what we think what we feel what we put out what we vibrate out um what we intend and so if we are constantly programming ourselves or reprogramming ourselves that every time i hear someone say, say that it's going to change there will be rapid shifts i go into a freeze or a fight flight mode i will not be working with my body as i'm going through it and it won't be really helpful so what is happening on a bigger scale um, that is really important now is this whole shift in consciousness right what is clearing out is the distortion what is clearing out is the mind um, ego personality that is attached to all of these things that we think are safe that is familiar to the identity structure um, and all of this is very limiting if i think that i have always had this certain type of identity and i've always been that way i am this way and i'm always going to be that way can you hear how limiting that is um if i 
continue to tell myself that and I continue to tell myself that change must be or it must mean this or it must mean that. Can you challenge it? Maybe maybe it can change, maybe it can open. It's the same thing I do with all information I receive. I don't attach to it as the one truth or it has to be like this or it's going to happen like this. I'm open for it. I take it in and I work with it, but I'm open for anything to unfold because otherwise it would be limiting and it would no matter where the information is coming from it will it will create a way of thinking a way of you know everything that it, that is focusing your energy which is what you create and so everything that is held in this sort of ego mind personality all the programs the beliefs all of this which is I can explain this, which is held in an, and structured with this old, old energy that is no longer held like I've been talking about before. This is clearing out because the consciousness, the light that we are, that we are currently embodying and the physical body, which is a consciousness, which is of the earth, is merging. And then it's very easy to see as well that as this is happening, more people will open up, more people will have experiences, more people will feel direct guidance or um, or connection because it's in the body. And this is where it is from that perspective, really genius that this shift has started with, um, well, started, but really amped up, <laughs> let's say, with uh, something that has to do with health for the collective because it takes a lot of very important questions um, sort of to the forefront and it makes it so that we focus on our bodies because uh, honoring the body and respecting the body and working with the body rather than searching out or, or trying to come out of the body or um or having the idea that this whole process is about going somewhere without the body that's not what's happening and so as these two are merging because they can align perfectly the body and and the light the consciousness in our body all the distortions, all the all the control we try to have in our own lives. Now we say we see all of this playing out in the external as well, but now I'm talking mostly um, or focusing on the internal aspect of it. So where where do you need to let go of control? Where are you trying to control or manipulate or get that that sense of safety in your own life? Because if we can let go and we can accept and we can trust, it will be so much more easy for ourselves moving forward. Um, and it will release a lot of resistance. And it will just help yourself a lot. Um, so trust, accept and flow with whatever is happening in any moment. Um, comparison as a big one as well because it's so easy to compare with others that are having a certain experience and or maybe i haven't done the right work because i'm not having that experience or maybe i'm like behind at some point or maybe i just you know all of this question this questioning whenever you find yourself going into that just just switch it off and come back to you because what you are experiencing is perfect for where you are and for where you're going in the sense of moving through your path um, time is not really existing it's only an experience in this reality which is an illusion um, so this whole space time thing that we experience and we move through as much as it feels very real it 
isn't on a higher pers from a higher perspective or you know when we are out of this this dimensional field um and so even though we maybe don't experience the same thing at the exact same time there will be a vaster or a bigger part of the collective experiencing things that are similar at a similar time period in some before some will after some will have very different experiences but what's interesting um in in my my own perspective on how i look at things it's to look at the patterns and it's what i really love seeing or looking at also when i uh, when i work with people it's it's seeing the patterns because the repetitive patterns and how it's shifting and changing and what is releasing what is holding on what are the patterns of the energies coming in what are the patterns of the movement of the energy in the earth all of this says a lot about how we are moving um, it's not a, like one experience or this other thing we have to look at a bigger picture and try to detach from all the small things even though they they can feel big in our experience in a day or a huge challenge or whatever it is so stay present keep staying present to what you're going through and if you find things distracting just shut off the information from the outside and come back to yourself again and again and again <coughs> excuse me um surrender so surrendering to what's coming up surrendering to your your path is important because if we're in resistance to it we will make it more challenging for ourselves um it doesn't mean that we are giving up we can have an empowered state and surrender into something and this aligns as well with the whole alignment realignment i will say of the masculine and feminine energies um i've been mentioning before the masculine moving or coming back into his vulnerability in order to really find that deep raw strength and this is happening for both male and female incarnate we both hold both mas masculine and feminine energy and so that strength of just sort of bursting through something or <clears throat> i'm sorry uh or pushing through or just you know suppress whatever emotion and just move through it that isn't functioning anymore that's not working so we have to surrender into the vulnerability we have to surrender into the present moment and from there we find a real strength and we can move through it not from the mind and trying to control it, but from coming back there and moving through and for forward. <clears throat> A lot of clearing in the throat lately. Um, I, I apologize. The earth and the sun, there's a lot of, um, lot of energy coming in from the sun. High energy. A lot of people can feel this very physically. Ground and stay hydrated. Very important. The earth feels a lot more fiery than it has in a long time. Much more movement in the energy. Very fiery and it feels like it's building up. I think that will be a part of what will initiate more relocations on the, on the planet. So more people will be suddenly called to, to change a different location. These kind of movements are happening because the, the very fiery energy inside the earth. Um, yes, I'm just having a look at my notes. Let's see. There's a lot. 
Yeah, keep focusing on coming into being consciousness, embodying your light, find your joy, find your, what are you, what do you want to engage your energy in? Look at what you are engaging your energy in throughout the days. What are your patterns, your habits? Those are creating your reality. That's a part of taking with self-responsibility of what you're creating. To look at what are you actually putting your energy into. Make adjustments, make changes. And things might shift. Most probably will. As to what you're putting your energy into, what you want to put your energy into. Your joy, um, focus on that. Be in joy. Uh, when you can feel the emotions work with whatever is coming up whatever is clearing um and then come back to knowing that that is clearing out the distortion that's clearing out what's in between the light your consciousness and your physical body that's what we are clearing everything in between everything that is putting our energy out in distractions every pattern every belief all of these things so that we can actually come together and then we are powerful beyond what we can even imagine and we are that already we're just not seeing it because of all of these distortions and that's the embodiment i hope this is helpful i will get myself some water <laughs> And I will be back with more because uh, there's a lot of energy uh, coming in constantly, a lot of information. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, thank you for all your beautiful comments. Um, I love to hear how your experiences are and, and how you are. Um, thank you also to everyone sharing the videos. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm wishing you a beautiful day. Um, morning, evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.